I decided to go ahead and get uh, brand new pistons for it. Um, the other ones probably could have used, they had a little wear up and down the skirts here, but I found this set of um, 30 thousandths over pistons with the rings. So I decided just to go ahead and get new ones. Here's my connecting rods. Um, they're all cleaned up, so now I've just got to get the pistons pressed onto the rods. These pistons and rods are directional. You can see this little notch in the piston. Uh, that goes to the front of the engine. And when I took these rods off the other pistons, I, I put a little permanent ink marker right there on the front. After I got to looking at them, I realized there's a little dot right on the front of the rod right there too. So it'd be pretty hard to get it um, mixed up. So you just need to make sure that this and this are both pointing in the same direction. So if I've got the rod like that, I need to have the piston like this with the fronts on both sides. First thing I'll do is put a little oil on here. Make sure that's good. Then I'm gonna take the rod because it's a press fit in here and um, it's only about 50 degrees out here in my garage right now. We're in the winter time and uh, I don't have any heat. That's why I'm wearing coveralls and a sweatshirt all the time. But I'm gonna heat this up and let it expand a little bit and then when that being somewhat colder, it'll probably press in a little bit easier. Should allow it to press in just a little easier. Got this little thing I made to fit right in there. Uh, this is what I used to press the other ones out because I had to go down through the piston to get them pressed out. This little block here will rest right across the flat part of the piston here, you can see. I'm gonna put a little pressure down, make sure everything's centered. Check it. Okay, that's bottomed out. Now what I want to do is get the pin centered side to side in the piston approximately, just like that. And then look at my distance here and here. You can see I'm not, let's see, it needs to come back this way just a little bit. About right there. You can see I need to push the pin um, through a little bit further because I have more of a gap here than I have over here. So what I'm going to have to do is put a, a ring around here. This is what I use to push them out with. That fits right there. And that'll allow me to push it down just another little bit. I've got to make sure I've got that centered on there. Okay. Let's see if that's enough. What I'm doing is I'm just looking at the where the pin is in relationship to the outer edge of the piston on both sides and eyeballing it and then I'm going to look in here you can see it's pretty close I'm going to 
Try and move it one more little crank though. Okay. And that looks pretty good right there. Looks real good right there. So I've got it even on the edges here and even gap in the center there. So this one will be ready to put in. Double check front, front. We're gonna put the rings on the pistons now. And these are all marked. It says number three or third groove. third groove. This is a multi-piece third groove. Number two, second groove, and then the top groove or the number one. So we're going to start with the bottom groove because we put these other ones on first, we won't get those on the bottom. Basically the way this works is you take two of these little rings and one of these rings here and you don't want all these grooves in line with each other. Uh, the long side of the piston skirt here is where most of the wear on the piston is going to be. So it's best if you can keep these grooves kind of on the sides here. So I'm going to put this first springy one and line it up kind of right in line with the wrist pin going through here. Then these I'm going to offset one this way a little bit and I'll set the other one this way a little bit. Just like that. And I'll offset this one a little bit over here. And that's that. And then we'll take a number two. And if there's any markings around them, like this one, it's a little dot right there. That means that goes up. So I'm gonna just put it on and then we'll rotate it around. I'll rotate that one around this way, have it over here, and then the top groove, similar type thing. Now there's no markings on this top groove anywhere. The edges are square inside and out. If there was a bevel or a little chamfer or something on one side or the other, that might indicate a direction to go, but since this one is exactly the same all the way around, there's no markings. It can go either way, upside down or right side up. Doesn't know the difference. Okay.